Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Frosted Tech. So today's video is going to be about, um, by the way, I'm going to be switching the channel names soon. Um, I'm probably going to switch this one to Frosted Tech and all the gaming videos coming up this year are going to be on the Frosted Tech channel, which I'm going to switch to Frosted Gaming. So uh, moving on with this video, we're going to be doing a th under $1,000, sub $1,000 build, and it's going to feature two RX 480s. So the brand new R Radeon R9, or not R9, RX 480s from MSI. And let's go ahead and get into this build. So for the CPU, we chose the Core i5 4690K 3.5 gigahertz quad core. Um, I was informed that this does have a cooler and sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on what package you get. Uh, it's running 235 right now, so that's not too bad of a price on a nice CPU, quad core CPU for you. It's going to be perfectly fine for gaming if you want to do rendering. It's fine for rendering. You can overclock it if you want to. Um, paired with the motherboard that we're going to speak about in a second, it's going to be a really good combo. So as for the motherboard, we chose the ASRock H97M. This is the Pro 4 Edition Micro ATX board. Uh, LGA 1150 chipset and it's running at $84 right now. So not too bad at all. Um, okay guys, so now moving on to the RAM. So for the RAM, we chose G-Skill Ripjaws X series, two times four gigabytes. So there's eight gigabytes total. DDR3 RAM running at 1600 megahertz and it's only running 43 bucks right now. So not too bad on some RAM. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and, per by the way, all the links for these products are going to be down below in the description. I put them in every single one of my build videos for you guys if you want to make your own build. Uh, they are all Amazon links, so you can put, basically just put them all into your cart and order the products if you want, as you please. So next up, we're going to have the hard drive, which I chose a Western Digital Caviar Black, one terabyte. You can use this as your mass storage, your boot up drive, pretty much everything. Uh, I would recommend upgrading to a solid state in the future, 7,200 RPMs and $69 on that one terabyte hard drive. So not too bad at all. Um, now we get into the gem of this build. So the motherboard is gonna support Crossfire, but there was a stipulation on that. You're gonna have to update drivers, all that stuff basically. You're gonna have to update the motherboard drivers and um, to the latest versions because it won't run right off the bat. It's going to run on the internal graphics of the CPU until you download the drivers for the graphics cards. So just keep that in mind. Now for the graphics cards, we went with the MSI uh, Radeon RX 480s. So you're running dual RX 480s, eight gigabytes of VRAM each, Crossfire configuration, GDDR5 memory set, and they're running 259 each right now. So 259 each on a pair of MSI RX 480s. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that because I'm probably gonna use them in future builds. So I'm gonna have to get used to saying RX 480 instead of R9 or R7 or whatever it may be. Um, now for the case guys, I decided to go with a mid tower instead of a small one or a mini tower. Uh, mini ITX basically uh, because, or mini ATX I should, guess I should say, because I wanted to keep costs down for the motherboard to leave a little bit of room for the graphics cards. Um, so for the case we decided to go with the NZXT Source 210 um, case. Now this is a mid tower, USB 3.0 connections. Uh, it's the black edition running $29.99 right now. So not too bad on a case. The case is actually pretty sleek looking, it's not too bad. So for the power supply, as you guys have noticed, I've been using this power supply for almost every single build I do because I believe in it and I trust in it and I trust in the company that makes it. So we have the Corsair Builder Series, 600 watt, 80 plus bronze certified, non-modular, and it's running at $54. So not too bad on a power supply. That power supply is really, really cheap for the price. Again, it's not modular, so you're gonna have to tuck the cables away that you don't use somewhere. Um, really good build guys this is under a thousand dollars dual rx 480s so you're going to be able to run games really really well all the AAA games out there you're going to be able to run them on high settings it's going to be really good you're going to be able to do vr all that stuff so uh guys if you like this video make sure you leave a like and a comment down below on what you liked about this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here and we'll see you guys in the next one stay frosty